Hello YouTube, I'm Tom and Brad and in this video we're not only going to be moving just a single POI from one place to another on a map, but we're also going to move an entire city in one go, including the tiles. Make it 2K, we'll have all planes no hills, want a nice flat map for this. Don't want any biomes really. And don't want any rivers, craters, cracks, or lakes. Once the world's been generated, I'm gonna go into editing tools and world editor. There's the map that was created, East Fogimili. I'm just gonna start that. Now, if you're following the series, you've already got map tools installed and at the time of recording, it's up to 1.3.3. There've been a few new additions and some bug fixes. Hopefully it should be working great for everybody at the moment. There we go. It's a very basic map. Obviously it's only 2K, but we have got one decent sized city uh, surrounded by a few wilderness POIs. So how do we go about moving a POI. Let's just say this POI here, we want to move that to this space over here. Well, the first thing we need to do is to find the corners of the POI, and you can go just inside of the tile if you like. And once you're there, hit F1 to bring up your debug menu. Type in prefabs, the space, and P1, now this is to set position one in the area that you're going to mask off. What we're going to be doing is selecting basically a square by choosing two diagonally opposite corners. So P1, hit enter, come out of that. We'll go to the other corner of this tile, which is here. And I'm going inside just so I don't accidentally select anything else. I only want this particular one in this example. So I'm gonna hit F1 again, then I'm going to use the up arrow to bring up that last command, which was prefabs P1. Get rid of the 1, change it to a 2, and hit enter. Now you can't see any difference here. It looks exactly the same as it did before. But now the map tool software has selected the things within those two points. So how do we move that? Well, it's fairly simple. It uses north, south, east, west, and the number of blocks. So F1, and we say prefabs again the space if i want to move it to the west i can either type in west or just hit w and i want to move it by 100 blocks for example hit enter and you can see there that it's moved the selection over to the side by roughly 100 blocks now it looks like it hasn't actually moved the poi but this is just because the chunks haven't been updated yet but the poi is now in that place there in that position and if i fly it down oops, there we go give it a chance to render in, it is indeed there. Now the old one is there and we can trick it into getting rid of it by flying out of the render range, if you like, and go back and we'll see that there. It has removed the original one. Now, it has left behind the stamp for the roads, but they won't be there once it regenerates the map. Okay, so we've moved that over there, but let's just say we're not quite happy with that. We want to move a little bit further. Hit F1, I'm gonna hit up, to bring up the last command and yes i want to move it another 100 blocks to the left or to the west so i'll just hit enter and off it goes and i can do that as many times as i like now if i want to move it down the map a little bit let's say a bit more towards the coastline you simply change the w to and s to move south by 100 blocks obviously you put in the number of blocks that you want to move it by yourself so if we're happy with the changes that we've made there, then all we need to do is hit escape, save the map and launch the game as normal. But I would recommend starting a new game when you make any changes to a map of this sort of scale, just to make sure that all of the splat files are updated as well. So I've just reloaded the map back up in the world editor and I'm going to now move this entire city. So let's pick our P1 and P2. This time round, I'm going to make sure that I'm just to the right or just to the, the south, if you like, of all of these POIs and also just to the west to make sure I cover everything. And I'm going to set my P1 by doing F1, prefabs, P1, hit enter. Then let's see if we can find the other corner. 
a little bit of lag. There's a lot for it to deal with, even though it's a 2K map. And there's the edge of our city. Incidentally, what you can do just to make things a bit easier for you to see what you're doing, uh, you can hit F1 and type in trees, T-R-E-E-S, hit enter, and it removes the trees for you. Now, it's only temporary, just so you can see exactly what you're doing. You can also remove the fog by going into F1, typing in weather, space, fog, space, zero, hit enter, and that completely removes the fog, just to make it a little bit easier for you to see what's going on. So I am just to the side of the city there. I'm not overlapping anything here. I need to go over just a little bit there. So I'm outside of that. So therefore, I'm going to be picking from that corner to here, and it'll cover this entire city. So F1, prefabs, P2. And you can see there in the description, it says that it is selected 258 prefabs. Now that does include the tiles. Let's zoom over this way so we can see where we're going. And I want to just move it. I'm going to move it south a little and west a little as well, further into this corner. Obviously, it's a bit of a small map, so, you know, there's not really much room for me to go. And it's a big city in comparison to the size of the map, at least anyway. So we go to F1 again, type in prefabs. I'm going to go west, first of all. Now, you can only do one direction at a time. I'm going to move it by 100 blocks. I might move it a little bit further push the up arrow hit enter to repeat that command maybe a little bit too far so let's bring it back to the east by 50 blocks there we go just looking at where it's colliding with the mountains on the side there incidentally it would work cut into the mountains there but you would end up with that uh, straight vertical edge where the mountains have been cut out so you'd have to fix that in your photo editor Okay, and we'll move it also a little bit to the south. So prefabs, I'm going to change that to an S south. We'll move it just 50, hit enter, and off it goes. So it doesn't look any different when we get down there. Let's see, there we go. It should render them in the correct places. So the terrain here is quite flat, but obviously there is going to be some deviations and you're going to see that with this edge that appears here. Now, if you're noticing that it is particularly high or particularly low, I'll just exaggerate that here. Let's say the rest of it was this height all the way around and you wanted to raise or lower your city or your selected POIs, you can use the prefabs command for that as well. So let's go to F1 prefabs and it's simply u to move it up or d to move it down so let's try moving it down by two blocks so that's prefabs d space two hit enter and there we go let's come out of there and we'll have a look and it's dropped it down to the two blocks but obviously because of the size of it as you move further away it's going to be out at this end so really the best solution for this is to get it in exactly the position that you're happy with and then fix your height map if you need to a couple of limitations at the moment are that you can't rotate the entire city. That would be a nice feature. And Zipcor has said that he's planning on adding that, if possible, as soon as he can. And also the option to delete the entire city, I think, would be very useful. The other thing that obviously is happening is that the roads will no longer be connected. So you would need to edit your splat file to redraw the roads to join them up. And that's something I can show you how to do in another video if you're interested. I also have a technique for drawing these roads very simply, including the roads that have the asphalt with the two dirt borders to it. There's a very simple technique that I can show you if you're interested. Let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching. Thanks to Zipcore for making this great mod. And I'll see you again soon. Bye bye.